Mars saga moves deeper in this episode, away from the open plains, towering volcanoes, and dust-covered craters. This time, the focus is not what we see on the surface, but what exists beneath it. The underground of Mars is one of the least explored yet most important regions of the planet. It holds clues to Mars's earliest history, its internal evolution, and the possibility that conditions suitable for life may have lasted far longer below the surface than above it. At first glance, Mars looks dry, frozen, and silent. The red dust stretches endlessly, broken only by rocks, cliffs, and impact scars. But the surface is deceptive. It represents only the final chapter of a much longer story. Beneath this layer lies a complex world shaped by heat, pressure, water, and chemical reactions that occurred over billions of years. In its early history, Mars was a very different planet. It had active volcanoes, flowing magma, a thicker atmosphere, and liquid water moving across and through its crust. While rivers and lakes eventually disappeared from the surface, water did not simply vanish. Much of it moved underground, where it interacted with rock, altered minerals, and reshaped the planet from the inside. The Martian crust is made of layered rock formed by volcanic eruptions, sediment deposition, and impact events. Over time, fractures formed within this crust. These cracks allowed fluids to travel downward, creating underground systems that remained stable long after surface conditions became hostile. As Mars lost its magnetic field and atmosphere, the surface became exposed to radiation and extreme temperature changes. Liquid water could no longer survive for long. But underground, the environment changed more slowly. Temperatures remained relatively stable, radiation levels were lower, and pressure conditions allowed ice and, in some cases, salty water to persist. Modern science has given us tools to look beneath the Martian surface without digging. Orbital radar instruments can penetrate the ground and reflect signals back to spacecraft. These signals reveal hidden layers of ice, rock, and sediment. In the polar regions, radar data shows massive stacks of ice buried under thin layers of dust. These ice layers are arranged like pages in a history book. Each layer represents a different climate period, recording shifts in Mars's tilt, temperature, and atmospheric pressure over millions of years. Closer to the equator, scientists have discovered signs of subsurface ice only a few meters below the ground. This ice is often mixed with dust and rock, forming a frozen layer that remains stable despite Mars's cold temperatures. Salt plays a key role in this underground environment. Salts lower the freezing point of water, allowing briny mixtures to remain liquid at temperatures where pure water would freeze solid. This makes salty underground environments especially interesting. On Earth, similar salty environments exist in deep underground caves, Antarctic ice, and desert basins. In many of these places, microbial life survives despite extreme conditions. This has led scientists to consider Mars's underground as one of the most promising locations for ancient or even present-day life. Mars rovers have found minerals on the surface that could only have formed in the presence of water. These include clays, sulfates, and carbonates. Many of these minerals likely formed underground, where water interacted with rock for long periods of time. Clay minerals are especially important. They form when water slowly alters volcanic rock. This process requires stable conditions and time. The presence of clays suggests that underground water systems on Mars were not brief events, but long-lasting environments. Fractures in the Martian crust may have acted as highways for underground fluids. Water moving through these fractures carried dissolved minerals, altering surrounding rock, and leaving behind chemical fingerprints that scientists can still detect today. In some regions, evidence points to ancient hydrothermal systems. These systems form when heat from magma interacts with underground water. On Earth, hydrothermal environments are rich in chemical energy and are considered prime locations for the origin of life. 
Mars shows signs of volcanic heat sources that could have powered similar systems underground. Even after surface volcanism ended, residual heat may have continued to drive chemical reactions below the surface for millions of years. One of the most fascinating underground features on Mars is lava tubes. Lava tubes form when molten lava flows beneath a hardened surface crust. As the lava drains away, long, hollow tunnels are left behind. Orbital images have revealed collapsed sections of lava tubes on Mars, creating skylights that expose these underground spaces. Some of these tubes may stretch for kilometers and be wide enough to contain entire buildings. Lava tubes are important because they preserve ancient conditions. Inside these tunnels, temperatures remain stable, radiation exposure is minimal, and materials are protected from erosion by wind and dust storms. For future human missions, lava tubes could serve as natural shelters. They could protect astronauts from radiation, extreme cold, and micrometeorite impacts. Building habitats inside these structures would reduce the need for heavy shielding materials. Mars's underground also records the planet's violent impact history. When large asteroids strike Mars, they fracture the crust and generate shock waves that travel deep below the surface. These shock zones alter rock structure and chemistry, sometimes creating environments where water can accumulate. Some surface rocks studied by rovers were likely formed deep underground and later exposed by erosion or impacts. This means that Mars's surface is like a window into its interior. Another major mystery is whether liquid water still exists underground today. Radar data from orbiters has detected signals beneath the South Polar ice cap that may indicate liquid water trapped under thick layers of ice. These findings remain debated, but if confirmed, they would represent one of the most important discoveries in Mars exploration. Liquid water beneath the surface would greatly increase the planet's potential for habitability. Even if liquid water is rare, underground ice itself is a valuable resource. Ice can be melted to produce drinking water, split into oxygen for breathing and hydrogen for fuel. Future missions will likely target regions where underground ice is accessible. Mars's underground also preserves records of the planet's magnetic past. Certain rocks retain magnetic signatures from a time when Mars had a global magnetic field. These signatures are strongest in ancient crustal regions, especially in the southern hemisphere. Studying these magnetized rocks helps scientists understand when Mars lost its magnetic field and how that loss affected the atmosphere and surface water. Despite all these discoveries, humanity has only scratched the surface of Mars's underground. Current rovers can drill only a few centimeters to meters below the surface. Most of the underground world remains untouched. Future missions are being planned to explore deeper. These include drilling systems, ground-penetrating robots, and missions designed to explore lava tubes directly. Some concepts involve sending autonomous robots into underground tunnels, mapping their interiors, and analyzing preserved materials that might be billions of years old. The underground of Mars may hold the clearest record of the planet's early environment. While surface features are constantly altered by wind, dust, and radiation, underground materials remain protected. This makes them ideal targets for sample return missions. Rocks collected from underground environments could reveal details about Mars's chemistry, climate, and potential biology that surface samples cannot. As Mars saga continues, one idea becomes increasingly clear. Mars is not simply a dead world frozen in time. It is a layered planet with a complex interior shaped by survival rather than destruction. The surface tells the story of loss, of water disappearing and atmosphere thinning. The underground tells the story of endurance, of environments that remained stable long after conditions above became extreme. Somewhere beneath the red dust, Mars still holds its oldest and most important secrets. These secrets are locked in darkness, preserved by time, waiting for the moment when humanity finally reaches deep enough to uncover them. Thanks for watching.